Hello, my dear students. Uh, let us take one more example on safe bearing capacity of soil. Okay, let us take this example. S314, 2 meter wide, carries a load intensity of 400 kilonewton per meter square. At a depth of 1.2 meter in sand, the saturated unit weight of sand is 19.5 kilonewton per meter cube, and unit weight above water table is 16.8 kilonewton per meter cube. The shear strength parameters are C equal to 0 and phi equal to 35 degree. Determine the factor of safety with respect to shear failure for the following cases of location of water table. Okay. Now, you, here you have to calculate the factor of safety. Okay. How to calculate factor of safety? Factor of safety is nothing but the ultimate um, uh, net ultimate bearing capacity divided by the actual load capacity. Actual load that is given here, load intensity 400. You have to calculate net bearing capacity. Once if you get net bearing capacity, and uh, you have a uh, load uh, intensity you will get what is factor of safety okay now uh, here uh, there are different cases of water so the first condition is water table as at uh, 4 meter below ground level second case is water table is 1.2 meter below ground level water table is 2.5 meter below ground level water table is 0.5 meter below ground level water table is at ground level itself used as a Giese equation here almost all the conditions are considered the different positions locations of the water table let us solve one by one before that let us find one common equation then you can consider the water table effects okay now we uh, will consider this as a, a general shear failure okay one thing you can always remember if in the problem if it is uh, not indicated like whether you have to take a, a general shear failure or local shear failure you can always consider general shear failure if it is specifically mentioned local shear failure then only you consider local shear failure otherwise always you can consider general shear failure okay now for it is a given strip footing right so for the strip footing the formula for uh, uh, soil is now cohesion is zero only friction is there so this is the formula uh, uh, cnc plus gamma dash uh, sorry sigma dash that is nothing but gamma d into n cube plus half into beta into gamma into n gamma correct now uh, if you consider the water uh, table effects like water reduction factor rw and rw1 and rw2 then this equation becomes cnc plus gamma d n q that is nothing but same sigma dash is nothing but gamma d into n q into rw1 plus half into beta into gamma into n gamma into rw2 okay now at present case c equal to 0 if you substitute c is equal to 0 qf is equal to only these two terms will be there gamma d n q r w 1 plus half into beta gamma n gamma r w 2 okay now the angle is given uh, phi is given 35 degree okay assuming general shear failure okay just assume general shear failure take value uh, of n q and n gamma from this table okay i have shown that table using this table okay for uh, uh, what is the uh, degree 35 degree you have to consider n q n gamma value and substitute here what is that uh, gamma is equal to uh, it is uh, given here uh, into one uh, what is that saturated unit weight of the water table is 16.8 uh, sorry uh, yeah uh, this term is not there so the, here gamma into d into nq into rw1 okay then here don't consider gamma value because it differs uh, for the different water table uh, uh, locations okay let it be gamma only then next one is d that that is constant 1.2 meter into this is nq nq is uh, uh, as per uh, this uh, table uh, nq is 41. 
into gamma r w1 it it keep on changing so let it be r into gamma into r w1 plus second term half into b uh, b is width of the uh, footing that is 2 into n gamma is 42.4 into uh, this gamma also changes so let it be gamma into r w2 now simplify this this is the now common equation this equation you have to use it for all the cases okay now let us take first case that is water table is 4 meter below ground level now this is the depth of the foundation okay uh, this is the foundation so here um, water table is 4 meter below the ground level so from the ground level water table is located at a distance of 4 meter okay so now depth of the foundation it is given 1.2 meter so the depth of the foundation is from ground level to this level that is 1.2 Next width is given that is 2 meter. B is equal to 2 meter. So now depth of the water table is 4 meter below the ground level. So till here 1.2. So this is 2.8 meter. ZW2. Okay. Uh, so ZW2 is the location of the water table below the foundation. That is ZW2. ZW1 is this distance. When the water table is below the ground level uh, till the foundation that is ZW1. Now ZW2. Okay, now uh, side W2 is uh, the position is full is 4, 4 minus 1.2 that is 2.8. So, ZW2 that is from here foundation to the uh, uh, water table uh, uh, distance. So, that is equal to 2.8 meter. Now, here uh, RW1 we have to consider based on the ZW1 value. But ZW1 here there is no water table effect okay water table is here so this uh, w1 that is uh, not considered here so directly you can write what is rw1 that is equal to 1 okay because it is much below the uh, foundation level so that effect uh, you cannot consider just consider rw1 is equal to 1 now rw2 you have to calculate which formula you have to use uh, I have given some formulas right here. Uh, ZW2. Now, if uh, see this condition, when the water table is at the base of the foundation, that is 0.5. When the water table is at a depth B and beyond from the base of the foundation, means when the ZW2 is greater than B, then RW2 is equal to 1. So, in this case, it is like that. ZW2 that is greater than B. Right. This is the B. ZW2 is greater than B. So, RW2 is equal to 1. Okay. Using this condition. Okay. Uh, this condition. Using this condition, you can write RW2 is equal to 1. Directly, you can write RW2 equal to 1. Now, use that equation. Uh, I mean, uh, previous I have shown, no. Uh, this is uh, QF is equal to 49.68 gamma RW1 plus 42. 0.3 gamma rw2 okay use that um, right here now this i have told the second term is called as surcharge term and last term is called wedge term okay now here uh, there is no change in the surcharge term so gamma is equal to 16.8 only because water table is here that doesn't have any effect this side so that is same 49.68 into 16.8 into 1 plus 42.4 that is given into now again here also that is uh, gamma it is also here 16.8 only so there is no effect of uh, water table because it is uh, beyond much uh, greater than the breadth okay uh, b so there is no effect on water table so that is also uh, gamma is equal to gamma only you no need to consider gamma saturated here. So, this when you simplify this, you get 1546.9 kilonewton per meter square. Now, you have to calculate uh, safe bearing, uh, uh, factor of safety. For that, I have told uh, that is the ratio of QF, uh, the ultimate bearing capacity divided by actual bearing capacity. Okay. So, uh, that is here it is given. This is the calculated value bearing capacity. Uh, one 
0.56.9 and this is given actual pain capacity intensity is 400 so you will get 3.87 okay like this you can calculate what is the factor of safety suppose if you consider the second case that is water table is just at the base of the footing now water table is here okay base of the footing is this point now d water table this is now z w1 this is z w1 so z w1 is equal to d now okay so when you substitute in this equation r w1 is equal to 0.5 into 1 plus z w1 divided by d equal to 0.5 into 1 plus 1 why 1 plus z w1 is equal to d only so if you substitute d divided by d that becomes 1 so 1 plus 1 1 2 2 into 0.5 1 now r w2 r w2 what is z w2 here r w2 comes when when the water table is below the foundation level here there is no uh, effect only because water table is at this point only so uh, directly you can take z w2 is equal to 0 okay so um, because that doesn't come into the picture okay so that is when you substitute z w2 equal to 0 you get 0 0.5 into 1 plus 0 that is nothing but 0.5 now, what about gamma and gamma dash? For the surcharge term, that is second term, gamma is equal to 16.8, okay? That is uh, uh, the dry only uh, because <coughs> there is no water table effect. Uh, surcharge soil is situated above the water table. But for the wedge term, that is the third term, gamma becomes gamma saturated because water table is here. So, the wedge soil is situated below the water table so that gamma becomes gamma saturated so this is the equation here now you have to substitute the second term gamma is equal to gamma only that is surcharge term this is surcharge term and this is a wedge term here it becomes gamma saturated so substitute that value 19.5 you get 1248 once if you get this you can calculate what is factor of safety same formula only the difference is now um, ultimate pairing capacity capacity is 1 to 4 8 then um, uh, this is the actual pairing capacity 400 so you will get 3.12 this is the second case let us take one more uh, case third one that is uh, when the water table is at 2.5 meter below the ground level now water table is located one 2.5 meter below the ground level this is the ground level this is the depth of the footing here it is 2.5 meter below the ground level so what is now z w2 that distance total 2.5 2.5 minus 1.2 that is equal to 1.3 okay now so this is uh, you have to uh, calculate uh, what is uh, ZW1, what is ZW2, what is RW1, what is RW2. What is RW1 here? RW1 usually where it comes when the water table is located somewhere here, this portion. Okay, uh, maximum is this portion, uh, a base of the foundation. You should, you will have the water table effect. Otherwise, it doesn't come into the picture only. So, it is... Uh, equal to directly you can take it as rw1 is equal to 1 okay because uh, zw1 is not there here uh, okay uh, so that is uh, 0 so when you substitute in this equation this becomes 0 so uh, uh, sorry not 0 directly you can take rw1 is equal to 1 now rw2 you have to see what is first ZW2. ZW2 in this case you can see B is uh, uh, greater than 1.3 meter. Okay. So uh, if the uh, depth of the uh, water table it is greater than B then there is no water table effect. But here uh, B is greater than 1.3. So you should have some water table effect. So for that you have to calculate what is RW now uh, this is 1.3 meter zw2 is equal to 1.3 meter substitute in this equation that is equal to 0.5 into 1 plus zw2 in this equation you get 0.825 so uh, find the for the surcharge term that is 16.8